So yes, you guessed it right. I've got the Gerbing heated trousers. I've got everything else. Why not have the trousers? So these are the trousers. Now, to be totally honest, I was a bit surprised when I got them. It's not what I expected. Well, I mean, not what I expected is how thick they are. So if I just show you, so this part here is just the material and the liner. But from here, all the way down to just above the ankle, there, it feels like there's a sponge padding or layer. So if you see, I'm quite thick, those trousers are. I think I was expecting them just to be the material and a liner. So I don't know, I don't know what to make of them. I haven't tried them out yet. That's what I've got to do. That's thrown me a bit. I honestly wasn't expecting. If you can see there, it's like a sleeping bag. I wasn't expecting that. But then, yeah, let's go through the trousers and we'll try them out. What's that like? So, here we go. So you've got some pockets each side. You've got the little zip here at the top, which the cable comes out to plug into the jacket or straight into the controller. Further down, you've got these little zips and these wires fit in the socks. Now the good thing is, is you can do it from the inside. So I suppose instead of rolling up the trousers to plug the socks in, there you go, see, you can just put your hand in this way, grab the wire and plug it into the front of the sock. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure what this, I'm not sure what this layer's for, whether it's to stop the cold air is it to insulate you? Is it to stop the cold air cooling down the heating element? I'm not sure. The material's nice. It's a stretchy material. It's like a lycra. So let's have a look at the back. You've got a Velcro strip there. You've got some waist adjusters. So you can pull them in. Now I'm not sure... I'm not sure if there's any eating element in that part. I don't think there is. I can't feel anything. I can just feel the wire running. So the backs of the... Yeah. It's just like a lycra material. All the way down, that's the same. So this insulation part... There. So that's the length of the insulation part. Let's have a look at the inside. Let's turn them inside out. Okay, so you can see the channel there where the wire runs down. Can I feel the wiring? Yes. So you can feel the wiring coming in I can feel it coming down here to the socks. So that's the zip from the inside. Hmm, not too sure what to make of them. To honest with you, they are a bit thick from what I was expecting. I just don't know whether I'm going to be able to use them or whether they're going to be too thick too bulky. I suppose what I could do is take the thermal lining out of my textile trousers and then put these on and put just the textile trousers on the top. I don't think I'm going to get those on under my jeans. We're going to have to try. Right, so we're going to get them on. I'm going to go out on the bike, shut them like. Let's see if they are any good. So that's the Gerbing heated trousers. 
I've gone for the full shebang. I've got the heated gloves on, the heated jacket on, heated trousers, and I've got the heated socks on. So I've got everything. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go and do a few miles with it off. So the left we're going to have as trousers and socks, the right we'll have as the jacket. I never checked what fuse I'd got installed. So I've rotated for all of these 14.8 amps, that's correct. But I think I've got a 20 amp fuse in, so I need to swap that for the blue one. The blue one is 15 amp, because I don't want to fry myself. But I'll leave the 20 in now. Oh, it's an half different being on this compared to being on that moped yesterday. Having brakes as well. And just the power. Oh. Oh, it was funny because I could, I could fully open the throttle on that and get nowhere. Right, so it's three degrees. So I think it's cold enough to try this heated clothing. It's not mega cold, but cold enough. So I was going to try these heated trouser liners under my textiles and remove the thermal lining. But to be honest with you, I have managed to get my jeans on. It wasn't too much of a struggle. The only part which was a little bit tight was just trying to get the the knee part of my trousers up with the knee pad because these trousers have got that insulation over the knee as i was pulling the jeans up it was pulling the trousers up so but no it went up it was fine that went on and to be honest with you they're that flexible and stretchy the trousers i can't actually feel them under my jeans i, I was I was expecting it to be a bit like this is now nah, this is too much I can't wear them but doesn't feel too bad so at the moment it feels just like I've got textile trousers on because obviously I've, I've now got an extra layer under my jeans but with like a, a padded not padded I've, I've got to stop saying padded it's not padded with like a thermal layer sponge foam layer I don't know what it is on the front so I feel like I've got textiles on but my jeans still feel quite flexible. I don't feel restricted in them. I was a bit concerned about the wire coming out the waistband. It didn't look like it came out far enough. But now I'm on the bike and I've plugged it in. It's fine, it reaches the controller. So I like the controller here fixed to the tank. I don't like the controller hanging. And all I've got on my top is I've just got like my base layer thin base layer I've got the Gerbing heated jacket on and then on top of it I've got the road skin zip hoodie I prefer to wear this hoodie with the heated jacket as it's a bit more flexible I find when I've got my Oxford jacket on it's a bit more restrictive I've, I don't feel like I've got so much body movement but this feels more comfortable and plus this road skin hoodie is has got better wind protection, believe it or not. Now I can feel already my chin is getting cold and my feet are getting cold already. Yeah, my feet are getting cold now. My feet are crap. I really are rubbish my feet on. I mean even in summer I could only kind of wear sliders or flip-flops if it is 25 degrees plus. My feet even feel cold in the summer. And they always have. I even remember as a kid, when I was a kid, my feet was always cold in my wellies. So if anybody's got any new feet out there that I want reviewing, send them in. I'll be happy to review them. So top half of my body's not cold. I can feel the cold air, obviously getting in probably down the top or up a sleeve. I can feel the cold, but I'm not cold at the moment. I'll have to, I'll have to try and find out from Ian at Gerbing what this insulation is. It feels like like the inside of a sleeping bag so it looks quite thick when the trousers are off it looks like his head that's why i kept calling it a padding it looks like a quite a thick padding but when you squeeze it it's like goes to nothing a bit like a sleeping bag the feel like in a sleeping bag i know Ina gerbing said there is i believe there's going to be a new range of trouser liners coming out 
so these are the current ones so I don't know what the new ones are like whether they've whether they've not got the insulation in I'm not sure what right, let's do the straw carriageway let's get cold and then let's try the heated clothing how good these brakes are. I'll tell you what, that's a good eye opener going on that moped. You forget how good things are on the bikes. Right then, so my configuration is I've got the gloves are on their own circuit. These don't go through the controller. The gloves have got their own control. So we're going to switch the gloves on. On to number three, which is red, which is hot. These are the Gerbing XRL gloves. I've picked these up instead of the extreme heated one. The new ones I've got. I've put the one gloves up today, but they're good. They're brilliant. They get hot. Right. I can feel the gloves getting hot already. Right. So on this side of the controller, if you can see, right hand side, I've got the heated jacket. So let's have the heated jacket on number two. Let me see if I can feel that kicking in. Yeah, I can feel that already across my back. I'm amazed at how quick this stuff heats up. Right then, here we go. Second part of the controller. Right. I'm going to put them on to number two. So that's the socks and that's the trousers. Right then, let's go for it. Oh gloves are lovely already now the reason I've gone for these trousers I never thought much about this heated clothing before I didn't think I needed it it didn't bother me um, I started doing more winter riding and I noticed my fingers was freezing did the usual got heated grips which I've got on this on the VFR I've got heated grips never ever switched them on uh, then I found out obviously you know, the only part of my hand that was getting warm is the part that's not getting cold. And that's the inside of my hand, the palms. So, that's when I invested in some Gerbing heated gloves. Found, you know, the gloves were a game changer. They were amazing. So the following winter, I then got the premium heated jacket. And that was, that was amazing, that was. Oh, what a difference that made. When I then realised, hold on a minute, the gloves are good, the jacket's good. Now my biggest part, which I've mentioned already, is my feet. I thought, oh, it'd be so good if I could keep my feet warm. I knew Gerbing had done the heated socks, but never thought nothing of it. So this Christmas, spoke to Ian, Gerbing got the heated socks. They are mega. Those are my favourite. The heated socks are uh, my favourite heated clothing because I'm getting the most out of them which is my feet my feet being cold so anyhow doing all that I always found my legs never really got cold never really bothered me until I started wearing the heated clothing and it's not very often I wear my textile trousers I do like my bike jeans and when we did our winter camp on the way back from the winter camp my hands was lovely and warm, my body was lovely and warm, my feet was lovely and warm. And I think what that was doing, that was highlighting how cold my legs was feeling. And I hadn't really picked up on it, because I was concentrating more on my hands and my feet being cold. So, I thought, my legs actually are cold. They are feeling cold, I just never really paid that much attention to it. So, did the usual, spoke to me again at Gerbing, I said, I'm going to try these heated trousers. And here we are, today, trying them out. Right, so I've got that on setting two. So I can feel the warmth on my feet. I can feel it on my legs. I can just feel it, but that's on number two. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to turn it up to number three because I found the perfect setting for me with these socks is setting three. Anything over three gets two watts. So the socks and the trousers are on the same circuit. So if I turn the socks up, I'm turning the trousers up. So I think that'll be a good indicator. I don't want to put the trousers or the socks. Ooh! Ooh, I can feel that on the inside of my thighs already. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, so I was saying I don't want the jacket. I want the jacket on its own setting because I find I don't need the jacket on anything more than two. Two's fine. Oh, yeah, I can feel that. Right the way here. Jacket's lovely because you feel it's all up your arms. You've got the cuffs off the gloves. Your hands are lovely and warm. Your back's warm. I'm warm around my neck. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can definitely feel them trousers. That is surprise. I'm quite surprised at that actually. I'm very surprised. They feel lovely and warm at the front. And I can feel it um, all the way down to my boots. So it's going over my knee, just to the, and, and then just at the top part of my shin. I think it's a bit like when you first try this stuff out, and you you're a bit surprised that how your body feels. But that. I've got to say, that's the that's the strangest feeling I've had from eating clothing, is the legs. Because I've never really paid much attention to the legs. But now I can feel warmth on them, they feel lovely. Wow! That is brilliant. I've got to say, that is brilliant. So we're now at what now? Right, so the temperature's up. We're on 5 degrees. Where normally I would have come out in this 5 degrees in just my jeans. My legs would have been fine. I don't even put base layers on with the jeans. I'm fine with the jeans as they are. So probably... Yeah. Anything 6-7 degrees and lower. I will definitely wear these trousers. I don't think... I will put these trousers on all the time when it's cold. So I don't think... I need them. But I think in these temperatures... 6-7 degrees and below, definitely. My winter, my, my heated socks, I can see me wearing them up to about June, to be honest, <laughs> with my feet. That is, I'm very impressed with them. Very, very, very impressed. Wasn't too much of a faff getting ready today. It took me a bit longer, because obviously I've got like a, an entire full body clothing on underneath. I could be clothing. So if I was going from mine, Birmingham to Vicks in Stowport, it's about half hour, 35 minute ride. It's nothing major. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put the heated trousers on for that. I wouldn't put the heated jacket on for that. I would definitely use the gloves and I would use the socks. Because those parts do get cold. But trousers and jacket, I wouldn't bother for that. If I was going out for the day today in this, which, to be honest with you, it'd be a beautiful day to go out today. If I was going out for a full day on today like this to Wales, yeah, I'd, I would definitely wear these. So I think if anybody's doing any uh, any north trips, your Norways and stuff like that, this would be so good for you. So there we go. Those are the Gerbing heated trouser liners. Liner trousers? Trouser liners? I don't know what it is. So yes, I was a bit surprised when I first got them. Though it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought that was going to be like base layers, just very, very thin. With those like the wires in them. So when they come they was quite thick. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was a bit concerned about them. I thought it was going to be. To be honest with you, I thought that was going to be useless. A waste of time. This heated clothing malarkey. Not cheap. It's not cheap to get kitted out. I know you can get cheaper versions. I bought a heated vest before off Amazon and it was useless. And the trousers, oh yeah, I forgot to say. I could have done with the neck size down in these trousers. Now I know with the Gerbin jackets, they normally say order a size. So it's meant to be a snug fit. Is to order a size up. You know, they're not tight fitting, but they're not loose on you. But they're very, they are like a, a lycra kind of material, they stretch. So I, I could have got away with a smaller size, but they'll do, I'm happy with them. 
Your legs feel lovely. Problem is now I've got to go back home. Because we're going out so I don't want to. I want to ride all day in this. In this lovely clothing. The only problem is I can't wear this stuff on the moped. Two reasons. One, the battery don't work on it at all. But it's only a six volt battery what's on it any of these. This is a clue that kill it. And two, I ain't going fast enough to get cold. So here's a zip. What I found was easier was just to turn the trousers around to the sock. There you can see it. Instead of trying to put your hand in, and you know, it's easier just to do that. There you go, unplug the sock. Same with that side. Turn it round. There's the sock. And there you go. Unplugged. Look at them for a pair of legs. So there we go. We've tried them out. Quite surprised, to be honest. They work better than I thought. They didn't feel as bulky under the trousers of what I thought. It's quite stretchy, so you can hardly feel this. I could have done with a smaller size. That's not a problem. Yeah, I'd like to find out what this insulation is. It didn't cause me really any problems. I suppose with it just being a bit thicker here, just when I pulled my jeans up with a knee pad, I suppose it was just bulking a bit. That's nothing to worry about, but I'd, I'd like to try them actually with my textile trousers, which are a bit looser fitting if I take the thermal insulation out. So, what do I think of them? I like them. I think they are very, very good. I think my first impressions, I kind of put myself off a bit, but they worked. They did the job. That was brilliant. They kept my legs warm. It's just what you need. Again, as I said, if I'm spending all day out in cold weather in the winter, probably, as I said, six, seven degrees and lower, then I would wear these. Definitely, I would wear these all day long. If I'm popping out just for half hour and I was right, I wouldn't bother. Uh, for that kind of time and that temperature, I wouldn't even bother with a heated jacket, to be honest. But a, a full day, definitely. They impressed me. I'm quite surprised. I was kind of going out um, with a bit of a negative thought in my mind. I think I'd, I talked myself into that they weren't going to be very good. And that was purely just because of this, this insulated layer. But no, they were good. So at least now I've got the complete heated suit jacket gloves trousers socks so there's no stopping me now whatever the time of year whatever the season whatever the temperature i can now go riding which is a bonus i'm happy about that so definitely yep yeah, i definitely recommend them if you're cold weather riding or in a colder climate than the uk the trousers are good they really are good for the uk you wouldn't wear them all the time so definitely definitely I like them. The Gerbing heated trouser liner gets a one, two thumbs up from me.